Seven days of yes. Hello, everyone. How is it going this week? Happy Easter to all of you out there celebrating Easter. Hopefully you got a chance to spend some time with family and friends this weekend. Uh, our month and a half of, uh, of visitors down here in Florida has, has finally settled for, for at least a few weeks. And we actually know we've got more visitors coming next week. And then, Okay, so we've had a, a quieter week this week. We've had family and friends coming to town for a month and a half, which has been awesome. It's been awesome. It's been a lot of laundry doing the sheets and uh, been doing lots of fun things in the area. But now we're kind of recovering from all that and getting ready for the next big push. So enjoying some peace and quiet. All right, but not for too long, not for too long. So how is everyone doing? How did your week go last week? Any new insights or inspiration? Please send them my way. So the topic for this week is all about trust. And uh, in improvisation, trust really is, in, in, in my opinion, the most important quality or idea that needs to be established for an improviser or a group to do well together and to do well on stage. Uh, doing the leadership training that I do, working with teams and working with individuals, I think it's the one quality that has come up over and over again is sort of being that key idea or that key thread that builds really successful, uh, really innovative, really creative teams because when you have trust you have that ability, that freedom to really go out there and take risks and have courage. When you don't have trust, there's a lot of uh, uncertainty, there's hesitation, there is kind of protecting your own turf because you're not sure, you know, how safe it is. So you want to build that safety through trust. There's an amazing video that I'm going to post at the bottom of this. It's uh, two Cirque du Soleil dancers. And uh, um, the gentleman, most of you may know, of uh, Zafrank. Zafrank is this... Uh, really famous kind of uh, videographer, blogger, blogger, and he's doing the narration, talking about, again, this idea and this quality of trust. So for you, your assignment this week is think about the relationships in your life, think about your work, think about different things, and ask yourself, how much trust is, in that? How, how much trust is there? How safe do I feel in that relationship? How safe do I feel in that environment, in that, whether it's with that workforce or whatnot, and what can I do to build more trust? What can you do individually to build more trust in order to bring more authenticity? And at the end of the day, that's what we're talking about. Trust equals the freedom to be more authentic. And so with the lack of safety and the lack of trust, we're, we don't feel safe enough to be our authentic selves. And ideally, isn't that what we're all aspiring to do and bring that into every aspect of our life? So that is your challenge for this week is to think about trust and how can you develop more trust in your different relationships. Should be fun, should be some new insights, and I look forward to hearing from you. Send them my way. That is your seven days of yes for this week. Have a wonderful week, everyone.